there will be a time that you might have to change your post data size maybe because you run out of space or simply because you want to be ready for the next poet so how will we do this so let's start with the smap there are two files we need to change but first things you need to do is turn off your note now let's go to smap folder which is on app data roaming space mesh and we're gonna edit node config json so in this case i have 50 units so i want to reduce for example for 36 whatever you know save and done there is another file we need to change and that's on your post data folder so this is where i start smashing you can see my key bin and this is post data metadata json so we need to change here for the same units we put as the node config so 36 36 save close and that's done all you have to do is restart smap When SMAP connects to the database and so on, it should show your file in here. Now, for CLI, if you're running a node, it's a bit different, but only in terms of the files we need to change. So, let's start with the the settings this is if you're running so if you're running power script you need to change in here so i'm gonna edit and i had a uh, 100 on this one and i'm gonna put 50 and save and we also need to change on the post we have the post data and we need to edit this for the same number of units save and restart your node and that's it when changing post data size there are a few things you need to be aware for example in here i have all my post data this is for uh, 16 units so if i change the data for example for 10 units any extra files that are being generated will be automatically deleted by the node so for example if you're doing multi gpu and you start to uh, post data numbers ahead all those numbers will be deleted because every number needs to be in sequence so keep that in mind when you reduce your number of units. Yes, you can. It's best if you haven't published your ATX yet. This is because we're not sure if the node will get banned or not. I am currently testing that and will make a video about in the meanwhile if you haven't published your atx all you have to do is change the value to an upper value on both files again if you're using a command line make sure on the number of units you change the numbers accordingly and that's it guys it's actually very easy to change your post data size thank you for watching